Well, the, the football team, of course, is extremely excited, and that, that I think, is uh, bleeding over to the middle school, all the students, of course, at the high school and at the elementary, and we met with the football captains yesterday to ask them, what do you want to do to see happen this week that will make this a memorable, memorable experience for you? And uh, one of the interesting things I thought that a student came up with uh, was to go to the elementary and do a jumper walk and then go to the middle school and do a jumper walk and do a pep rally there before they come on over to the high school on Friday afternoon to do their pep rally there. So they're working to get the from preschool to grade 12 involved in it, and I think that's a great thing for our students. Uh, I think they are special kids. From the very beginning of the school year, they have said to me, the ones that I've talked to, this is about our football program and what we want it to be this school year. And of course, some of those students are involved in our dual credit classes, so I talk to them on a regular basis. And the whole year, it's been about what we want to do for the program and for the school and the community and, and make it a successful year. So I think they are, it is a special group of. Well, I'll tell you what, for those who have never been able to go to a state championship of any kind or been in a state championship of any kind, it's amazing that how it pulls the community together. No matter how divided or how separated they are, uh, when you start having success, everybody wants to be part of that success. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great ride with Coach Lucas and these young men. They have, uh, I remember the first time I met with them was a couple of weeks before the season started. And, and one of the things that uh, one of the team captains said to me was, uh, Mr. Murray, it's about the program and jumper tradition. It's about the tradition of the school. And, and I thought that was very poignant in the fact that, you know, they realize that it is a tradition. That football is a tradition as many other events and, and activities around the school are. But this is a very close bunch of young men. Uh, they're fun to be around. I have dinner with them every Thursday night at Mr. Gaddy's. So if that tells you anything. Uh, I've grown quite close to these young men, but they are very close to their coaches and they're very close to each other. And I think that's pulled the community together behind them. And we've had a lot of support from you know in, in the county uh, mm -hmm. as well. So that's that's nice when you know that everybody is supporting you. I think it's just not the high school alone. I think it's also the middle school who's already won a state championship mm -hmm. and, of course, Hopkins Elementary. I think it's a thing that what we're trying to do here with this, this nice event is the fact that we want to pull all the kids together, and they're really excited. I mean, that's all they're talking about in the hallways, uh, outside the school building, uh, at the elementary school, at the, at the middle school. That, that, I mean, that's the, the conversation is, you know, we're going to state. We're going to Bowling Green. And... The young men are, like I said earlier, they're going to be going over to Hopkins doing reading activities, and they're going to be going over to uh, to Meese to do a pep rally over there with them and, and be in that building. But I think it's a, ma a matter of fact where we are beginning to uh, try to build on our tradition. And when these young people come to us, they're like, I want to play football, or I want to play this, or I want to play that, or I just want to be part of Somerset. And it may not be kids who come through our middle or our elementary that now want to become part of, of Somerset High School. Of course, in general, I work uh, with Dr. Wallace, Mr. Murray, what, you know, we called in the seniors, senior captains, and they talked about what they wanted to do for the week. And we tried to uh, kind of let them choreograph the whole week on what they wanted, not to do anything that they didn't want or if it was over the top too much. They, I think for the most part, this team likes to pretty much low key, you know, they, uh, it's not like they want a lot of hoopla. They know the, the one game, you know, is laying ahead.